Sunday the 26th of February was the date of the Doncaster Bonsai Experience at Markham Grange Nursery in the UK and this year like previous years was a well attended event with over 120 different vendors and traders and a wonderful display of bonsai trees. All the traders that I spoke to were super friendly and I'd also like to make a special mention to all of the YouTube viewers or commenters who came up and expressed their gratitude for my videos. I got a selfie with Andrew Beatty, but then didn't think to take a selfie with anybody else, so apologies. But all those people who came up and said hello, I'd just like to say thank you very much for your kind encouragement. I also found great amusement in following Xavier Martinez of Expressions of Grace Bonsai around the uh, stalls and asking him for his autograph at every opportunity. It amused me anyway.
naturally I couldn't go to a bonsai show and not buy something whilst I was there. So I'll show you what I got. First of all, I bought a couple of books by Paul Goff. Now I believe he's somebody who was fairly prominent in the bonsai community in the UK, but sadly passed away uh, fairly recently. And his widow was there selling some, uh, some of his books. So I got those. There were also lots of lovely shohin and mame pots uh, being sold there by various traders. And I bought myself these two fantastic little pots. And they were from Steve Greaves. And he was there with his partner. And I'll just show you the fantastic glaze on this lovely little pot. And we spent a long time talking about this one in particular. Uh, I think they were quite reluctant to sell this. The glaze was as much a happy accident as by design, but it's just a fantastic sort of melted gold effect. And I saw this, fell in love with it, walked away to have a look at some of the other stalls. And then when I came back, I thought it had actually been sold because it had been moved. And it turned out when I asked that it was still available. So I immediately snapped that up. I also bought this oval pot from Funky Fish Ceramics. You see their logo on the bottom there. It's got a great blue and sort of sandy brown color to it. And I was looking for something that I can plant my large Chinese elm into so I can take it out of the nasty blue Chinese pot that it's in and put it in something a bit more appropriate. So that is the tree that I'm intending to put into that pot. And I'll do that repotting in a future video. Because I'm someone who's only perhaps been in the bonsai hobby for about four years, um, one of the problems I have is that the majority of my trees look fairly immature. They're specimens that I bought from garden centers and therefore the trunks are quite thin. So I was quite keen at this bonsai exhibition to try and buy some more mature looking material. I saw somebody asking on Facebook quite recently um, advice for buying bonsai material. And one of the regular contributors, Malcolm Smith, advised that they buy something that they can put their particular stamp on. So with that in mind, I bought these trees. First of all, is a little Scots pine. Uh, I don't currently have a Scots pine in my collection. And it's something that Guy Watson of Bognor Regis Bonsai had asked me about. And I thought I need to acquire one of those. And so there we go, a little Scott's pine to work on. I then also saw this chunky oak stump and I thought that that's a tree that has some potential that I can work on. It's got a bit of a right angle elbow joint there. Um, it's got quite a stumpy bulbous bit there, but those are things that I can work on over time. And I can definitely see an interesting looking tree in here and perhaps reduce 
the angle on there, chew away at some of this bulbous bit and perhaps even put that towards the back so it's less prominent. But I think I've uh, got plenty of opportunity to style and create something fairly interesting with that. And then lastly, this tree is absolutely beautiful. And when I saw it, I just totally fell in love with it. And it's a chunky silver birch tree. And you see again, it's quite a stumpy tree, but it was cut at this point and has been allowed to ramify a little bit. And again, that's a tree, which as I develop ramification on there, is potentially going to be a beautiful, beautiful little bonsai tree. I'm really happy with that. And they got an incredible price as well. So, can't complain. I hope you found this video interesting. If so, consider subscribing. Um, because it's spring, or spring is approaching, I've now got lots and lots of trees and projects which I'll be working on shortly. So subscribe and you'll get to see those. Thank you for watching and hope to catch you in the next one.